Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to the Financial Times, the United States has recently been actively lobbying semiconductor giants such as Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands to further tighten existing export controls against China. The most disgusting thing among them is undoubtedly the Biden's request that Dutch lithography giant ASML prohibit its engineers from repairing lithography machines for advanced semiconductor factories in China. Once this matter was exposed, it quickly aroused heated discussions on social platforms at home and abroad. The West only banned the export of equipment, but now it is targeting people. The last person to have a similar plan applied to someone was He Hyriak, the parent company of UPT, a US company regarded as a youth technology by the top wealthy circles in Silicon Valley. Faced with widespread doubts from the outside world, Asma immediately denied it. As everyone knows, five years ago, this giant responded to SMIC in the same way. It would never affect the shipment of EUV lithography machines to China. However, before ASML's denial came to fruition, mainland netizens taught the giant a lesson. Subsequently, a picture was uploaded by netizens at the gate of BYD factory. ASML's photolithography machines are piled outside like garbage, causing an uproar on foreign media platforms. In the past few years, Asmai has acted as the savior of Chinese companies, and his attitude can be described as condescending. Although BYD later refuted the rumors, Mainland netizens were no longer accustomed to this lithography giant, which to some extent quietly kicked off ASML's prosperity and decline. In fact, before getting caught up in the abandonment by BYD controversy, ASML's revenue had already experienced a huge temperature difference. It is reported that in 2023, as China stepped up its efforts to snap up 450 DUV lithography machines from ASML, the giant even achieved an unprecedented quarterly revenue of 9.19 billion euros in the last three months. CEO Wen Kenning, who is full of confidence, even implemented the export ban to China ahead of schedule. As a result, as soon as it stopped exporting low-end photolithography machines to mainland China, the market chill hit ASML. In the first quarter of this year, in the eyes of Wall Street investment banks, the performance of this giant was catastrophic, not only did the amount of new orders plummet by 60%, far lower than the 5.1 billion euros expected by the market but the net profit also suffered a bloodbath and plummeted. At least 40%. In this regard, the American media also expressed disbelief. ASML seems to have been given a suspended death sentence. However, Wall Street bosses who want to regain their youth and vitality by relying on Yupuchuo technology will naturally not miss the opportunity to short ASML. As a result, in the US stock market overnight, ASML's share price plummeted by 11% that day, and nearly 200 billion in market value evaporated overnight. Just three months after rejecting the mainland market, ASML was quickly shaken back to its original shape. However, when Kenning, who was tied to the American, Japanese and Dutch chariot, seemed to be waking up from a dream at this time. Instead of dying under the tulip flower, it was better to leave and fight. Therefore, not long ago, there was a huge scandal that ASML was going to move out of the Netherlands. In fact, ASML is not the first Western giant to be thrown cold water on reality. 
The leading US companies behind the above-mentioned desktop must-have anti-aging technology, which is highly favored by Silicon Valley and Wall Street bosses, have long been among the pioneers. As the Mayo Clinic's black technology against aging, Opto has become famous in experiments on elderly mice as early as 2013, when researchers continued to intervene in the aging process for 22-month-old elderly mice for two weeks, aging signs such as sparse and white hair, slow movement, etc. have been profoundly improved, and the cell vitality and body motivation are the same as those of six-month-old young mice. Since five years ago, when the top academic journal Nature was included in the list of anti-aging black technology representatives for its 150th anniversary, Uputor's value has continued to rise. So much so that Madonna, Hong Kong's richest man Lee, and Warren Buffett, who take food from the mouth of a rat, have to pay a sky-high price of millions. Immediately afterwards, Researchers from Tokyo and Hiroshima universities also made key breakthroughs. Experimental results showed that in just three months, a 65-year-old man who used the Uputo technology showed significant signs of metabolic aging and inflammatory aging. Rejuvenation Phenomenon Undoubtedly, this quickly hit the pain point of middle-aged and elderly people who long to regain their youth and health. Therefore, when the imported Yupuchuo anti-aging technology was put on JD.com's e-commerce platform, even though the price per bottle was as high as 1,980 yuan, its sales growth rate was as high as 1,800% making it a phenomenon-level new product recognized by the industry. In this regard, the industry revealed, its high price does not seem to affect the frequent repurchase of 90% of middle-aged and elderly people aged 30 to 75, and it is quite popular even in Jinza, Japan. However, with the rise of Made in China, American and Japanese companies with similar products have been beaten back and forth, and even had to give up 90% of JD.com's online market, which can be said to have suffered heavy losses. After receiving a large order for 450 photolithography machines from mainland China, Asmax made a closed-door success at the end of 2023. However, the United States, with the cooperation of this giant, caused the closure or bankruptcy of 10,900 mainland semiconductor-related companies in one fell swoop, which can be said to have brought China into its darkest moment. As the saying goes, when the weather is crazy, it will rain, and when people are crazy, disaster will happen. Now ASML is asking for a hammer, its performance has been hit by a thunderstorm, escaped from the Netherlands, and was abandoned by BYD. If the United States and ASML do not want to repent, I'm afraid the headache for them is yet to come.